Urbet, an e-mobility company from Spain, used previous Malaga Motorcycle Show and the following EICMA exhibition to showcase their most powerful bike up to date. Unlike the brand's previous bikes that are mainly suitable for city commuting, the upcoming Laura S motorcycle will handle both the city cycle and commuting at highway speeds. This two-wheeler is based on a tubular frame that has a large center part reserved for a battery pack. It features a water-cooled motor rated for 15 kilowatts of continuous output and 184 pound-feet of torque. The motor has the potential to generate 30 kilowatts of peak output, thus letting you travel at speeds up to 87 miles per hour. The powertrain's primary source of energy is represented by an 84-volt, 180-amp-hour battery pack that will reportedly last for 186 miles in city cycle and up to 111 miles at the highway speed of 60 miles per hour. It's no secret that the range of EVs greatly depends on your riding style. That's why Urbit has developed a special control app that not only shows your performance data in real time, but also uses machine learning to show estimated range based on your previous trips and riding routes. As for the important motorcycling specifications, Laura S weighs 530 pounds, is rolling on 17-inch wheels with 270mm front disc brakes and 220mm rear disc brakes. It features an ABS system, LED headlights, and an engine lock with a security alarm. Laura S is currently available for pre-order, and it's reported that the first 50 limited edition units would be shipped to buyers as early as August 2023. When released one year ago, Teleria Sting looked like yet another Sauron lookalike with comparative specifications, a slightly improved riding experience, but a higher price tag. This product did attract some interest from the EV community, but most riders were not ready to give up their Saurons just yet. Despite the moderate success of their first product, Teleria's management actively collected feedback from dirt bike riders in order to bring a more polished and competitive product to the market. This is how Teleria Sting R was born. The upcoming Sting R boasts a significant power boost thanks to a new IPM motor with improved thermal efficiency and a reworked gearbox that now handles 5.5 kilowatts of output. The noticeable power improvements were also matched with a higher capacity battery pack. The base model is equipped with a 60 volt, 45 amp hour battery pack that can be topped from 0 to 100% in 3 hours. The manufacturer suggests that you can ride for up to 75 miles with an average speed of 15 miles per hour. But considering that the bike's top speed is 52 miles per hour, most riders would deplete the battery at a much faster pace. The technical alterations did not only concern the powertrain components, since the model is now equipped with better front and rear suspension components, a stronger frame and swing arm, upgraded brakes with 230mm rotors and a four-level regen system, a chain that can withstand a power increase, and handlebars with improved ergonomics. After long years of waiting, India's first performance-oriented electric motorcycle is finally here. Ultraviolet F77 has a powerful sports design with three striking paint schemes, Airstrike, Shadow, and Laser. Besides three different paint schemes, Ultraviolet Company offers two powertrain configurations, Standard and Recon. The Standard powertrain features an electric motor with 27 kilowatts of peak output, 62 pound-feet of torque, and 87 mile per hour speed capabilities. The second component of the powertrain is a 7.1 kilowatt hour modular battery pack. This battery could last for up to 128 miles in the city mode, while the performance mode would slash the range to 73 miles. The recon powertrain raises the output to 29 kilowatts, 70 pound feet of torque, while the top speed reaches 92 miles per hour. Besides a performance boost, you get a 10.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that can last between 106 and 190 miles, depending on your riding style. Regardless of the powertrain option, you get an upside down telescopic fork with a diameter of 41 millimeters, a rear monoshock with preload adjustments, hydraulic disc brakes with dual channel Bosch ABS, three level regenerative braking system, and a park assist feature. Lastly, Ultraviolet prides itself for the superior connectivity of the bike and a smart user interface with a bright TFT display. 
In order to celebrate the first deliveries of this model, the brand announced a 77-unit limited-edition run. This unique bike will generate 30.2 kilowatts of output and 73 pound-feet of torque. Its 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration is recorded at 7.8 seconds, while the electrified Sprint could take you to the speed of up to 95 miles per hour. This model has an estimated riding range of 190 miles and comes with a standard fast charger that adds 45 miles after every hour of charging. A couple of years ago, Zero Motorcycles collaborated with San Francisco's huge design with a task of creating a reimagined look for their old Zero FXS model. This unique cooperation yielded a custom e-bike that attracted a lot of attention from the media and fans of electric transport. Apparently, the buzz was so strong that this American manufacturer could do nothing but make a toned-down production version of this custom bike. Today, it's sold under the Zero FXE nameplate. Today, as Zero Motorcycles is looking for fresh ways to spruce up their model offering, the company's execs decided to reach out to huge design once again and potentially replicate the previous collaboration success. This time, huge design presented their unique take on Zero's SRS Electric Sports Tourer. The resulting SRX concept features design elements commonly seen in both Street Fighter and track motorcycles. As mentioned by the concept creators, the concept aimed at combining clean lines and disciplined design details with the aggressive stance and extreme performance found in today's leader bikes. In terms of looks, this semi-fared concept bike received a silver paint job with red accents, a snub-nosed silhouette, and a Tron-like light bar that gives off science fiction vibes. As for the technical setup, the Base Zero's SRS remained mostly unchanged. It's powered by the brand's most advanced ZF7510 electric motor, and ZF 17.3 lithium-ion battery pack. This powertrain puts out 80 kilowatts and 140 pound-feet of torque, letting you sprint to the top speed of 124 miles per hour. With great power comes great responsibility. That is why the bike is equipped with high-performance Brembo brakes and a fully adjustable Showa suspension. Oper Motorcycles is an electric motorcycle startup from Brazil that has taken on a mission of creating an urban commuting vehicle that will be both affordable and high-tech. The company is currently seeking investors that will bring it one step closer to mass production of the Oper in-city motorcycle. The company has not disclosed exact powertrain parameters of the in-city bike, but they're aiming at such benchmarks – 0 to 60 mph acceleration in 6 seconds, 90 mph top speed, and the city commuting range of 100 miles. Among the already announced features, we would like to point out a handy storage compartment that could hold up to 37 liters of cargo, an advanced vehicle control unit that manages all security and safety features, an advanced permanent magnet-free electric motor developed by the company's strategic partner called Enadyme, and a series of components that will ensure rider safety and awareness on the road, namely an ABS system and traction control, plus a unique haptic seat and a smart lighting technology. The brand's inclination to use the latest technology is further complemented by the use of an intelligent instrument cluster that will display essential performance metrics and let you track vital information in real time. Today is a great day for EV fans as yet another ICE motorcycle manufacturer decided to embrace electrification and announced a model with a battery electric powertrain. For their first model, Barcelona-based Leonard Motors presented a city-oriented motorbike capable of performance similar to their low-displacement ICE bikes. For their rigor electric motorcycle, the company came up with a minimalist black-and-white design and frame ergonomics that would be comfortable for both urban commuting and long-distance rides. Even though Leonard Motors mentioned long-distance rides, the powertrain with a 4.5-kilowatt motor and a 72-volt, 50-amp-hour battery pack suggests that the rigor is best to be used for riding in cities closer to the charging ports. A complete recharging session would take about six hours. The manufacturer estimates that you can ride for up to 93 miles with the average speed of 30 miles per hour. 
The estimates for rides at the near top speed of 60 miles per hour are slashed to just 43 miles on a charge. The model's basic package would include an inverted front suspension, adjustable rear monoshock suspension, a large information display, and a USB power outlet. After several years since the original unveiling of Volcan's Fat Tire Dirt Bike, this Texas-based electric power sports company decided to introduce some technical and design tweaks to the Grunt model. The refined version received the Grunt EBO nameplate and is said to be smoother and quieter in operation, as well as lighter compared to its predecessor. The list of most significant upgrades includes a slimmer frame construction with a reimagined swing arm design, an introduction of a Gates carbon belt drive system instead of the chain drive, the front 43mm inverted fork that now comes in tandem with a Walker Evans racing rear shock, and finally a restyled seat, new foot peg ergonomics, and frame-mounted electrical components give the bike a cleaner look. In terms of powertrain components, you get an 8kW electric motor with 4 performance levels and a battery pack with 2.3kWh of capacity. The performance levels as well as the estimated battery charge and other metrics could be tracked with the help of a bright color display. Grunt EVO could be outfitted with an additional battery pack, thus giving you up to 70 miles of range autonomy at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.